So around mid-June every year, thousands of cars show up to the Minnesota State Fairgrounds for what something that's called Back to the 50s. Basically that's just a three-day car show where a bunch of cars show up, a bunch of people show up, they talk about cars, they buy parts for their cars, and they just in general hang out and enjoy the weekend. So naturally there's a big car show, my dad and I show up with our F100. And uh, that's just, it's a really cool way to represent car culture in a way like a car show because that's how all of us get together and that's the part that everyone actually sees of the car culture and of the car community. But something else that can represent car culture would be something like this. And uh, that's a nut and bolt. Basically, I think nuts and bolts can represent uh, the strength in the community. Nuts and bolts are incredibly strong and our community can be incredibly strong. If something happens to someone in the community, all of us tend to band together and do whatever we can to help them out and help their family out, no matter what it is. Uh, it can also represent the hard work that it takes to have a nice car. You end up using a lot of nuts and bolts to build a car. Um, and it really just takes a ton of time and a ton of work. You really need to be dedicated uh, to building that car to really get it done. And it also represents the bond that holds all of us together in the community. A lot like nuts and bolts hold our cars together, the cars hold us in the community together. A lot of us would have never met each other had it not been for our cars or their cars or really just our general love for cars. And uh, something else that, that happens in this community, we occasionally have the opportunity to change someone's life or have our lives changed and it really it's an opportunity to open our eyes or have our eyes opened I should say and this happened to me quite recently this summer um, I was at a car show sometime midsummer around July and my dad and I we broke our truck it happens quite often and some guy walked up to us and he wanted a picture because we were bent over the truck working on it and apparently it looked pretty cool. But what he actually wanted was to be able to share his story with us through that picture. He explained to us that one of his friends had just passed. And he had a picture of that friend in a very similar situation. Him and his friend bent over the side of their truck working on it trying to figure out a problem. And that was about 50 years ago. So he sees my dad and I working on our truck. We're bent over the side of it trying to see a problem. And he remembers his friend that just passed away. And he wanted to be able to share that moment with us. And to give us the opportunity to let his friend live on through us. And that memory go on through us. And that's just a really cool way to sort of network in the car community and share your story. Something else you can do in the car community, uh, something cool that brings all of us together, is jobs. Especially with being a college student, I meet a lot of people that are sort of in the profession that I'd like to get into, um, that being aerodynamics. Going into, like, going to racetracks and watching races and going into the pits, I end up meeting quite a few people that work on race cars and have actually been in that sort of design process like I'd like to get into. So that's a really cool way for me to be, meet potential business partners in the future and things like that. Now, there are millions of stories where, uh, where cars bring people together, but what I think is the best part about the car community and uh, the car culture is how we have the ability to make lifelong friends, lifelong memories, and to really be able to admire each other's work on our cars and on our projects. This culture brings people together from around the world, and it's one of the few things out there that can unite people from all across the, all across the world in one spot with one thing in common, uh, with one major belief, and that is cars. Um, a lot like that nut and bolt there that holds the car together. 
the cars and our love for cars pulled us together. Now, the car culture has many variables in it, but uh, one thing is always certain, and I mentioned it in my first speech for this class, I will always talk too much about cars. Thank you.